Welcome aspirants. You're watching Decode IAS and today we'll decode the environment and ecology section from August 2025 current affairs short, simple and exam ready. Let's begin. The first major highlight is India's push for e-mobility. India continues to strengthen its transition to clean transport through electric vehicle adoption, battery recycling and charging infrastructure. The government plans to electrify 30% of total vehicles by 2030. New policies encourage domestic manufacturing of EV batteries under the production-linked incentive scheme. This initiative not only cuts carbon emissions but also reduces India's dependence on crude oil imports. Next, India led a global initiative on the wise use of wetlands at the United Nations. The resolution urges member countries to restore degraded wetlands, enhance biodiversity and improve water quality. Wetlands act as natural carbon sinks and buffers against floods and droughts. India currently has 75 Ramsar sites, covering over 13 lakh hectares one of the largest networks in Asia. Another crucial topic cloudbursts in the Himalayan region. Recent extreme rainfall events in Himald and Uhand highlighted the growing threat of climate-induced disasters. Scientists link these cloudbursts to changing monsoon patterns and rising global temperatures. The government emphasized early warning systems, afforestation, and the use of satellite-based weather forecasting to mitigate future risks. Now, let's move to the news in short section. India's water management framework received a major boost through the National Water Mission's Integrated River Basin Plan, promoting efficient water use in rainwater harvesting. At the global level, the Outlook Council on Water Investments was formed to mobilize sustainable finance for water projects in developing nations. Pollution control boards were directed to adopt real-time monitoring of industrial emissions to meet the national clean air program targets. The UNDP Equator Initiative Award recognized India's community-based conservation efforts in the Western Ghats. The Vaza Program of Action 2024-2034, launched by the Caspian Littoral Countries, focuses on protecting marine biodiversity. The Sundarbans Tiger Reserve was recognized for its mangrove protection model and the Matri Van Initiative began planting native trees in memory of mothers across India. Finally, the Etalin hydroelectric project in Nald and recent volcanic activity near the Drake Passage drew attention to the global balance between development and environment protection. To sum up, August 2025 highlighted India's leadership in climate resilience, water governance, biodiversity conservation, and sustainable growth proving that green development and economic progress can go hand in hand. This is Decode IAS helping you decode environmental issues with clarity and confidence for UPSC.